I, I agree with you completely. It's the Rams and it's the Buccaneers right now as the class of the NFC with the Packers possibly in the mix if they can resurrect their receiver room fairly quickly. The Buccaneers uh, are a team that continues to try to get better. Last year it was about holding everyone together. This year they've let some guys go, but they've gone out and they've made some moves to try to improve the roster. Here's Brady on the manner in which the Buccaneers have improved as a team heading into 2022. In a lot of different ways, I think that's a good question and it's a good opportunity for us to all kind of evaluate where we're at and what we need to do better. I always feel like there's things that can be improved on um, in different areas, and I think how I evaluate myself and my teammates is – very different than how other people would. So, um, are, there, are there any examples you could point to? None that I would really want to share, you know, because I think those are very uh, personal things that I'm trying to work on that I'm trying to let the competition figure out. And I'm trying to let the competition figure out about our, my teammates as well. But I think we have a lot of communication between us about where things were off and where things were. And obviously, they have their evaluations, but you realize watching, you know, looking around, they're not often very right either. You know, other NFL teams, they're wrong a lot. You know, there's a lot of people that um, are misevaluating things. So it's probably puts you in a best position to succeed if you evaluate things properly. And, um, you know, that's hopefully what experience and wisdom can do being in this game. That's why wisdom and experience and people being together and continuity is really important. Not to continue to do things poorly, but to continue to try to do things, you know, in a better way. And he's right when you consider that most teams change dramatically from one year to the next. The more you can hold it together, the better off you are. Not that it helped the Buccaneers get back to the Super Bowl last year. But but look, here's the reality. You get yourself into the mix for the postseason. And then for the most part, every game is a crapshoot. And you hope that you can navigate the two or three rounds necessary to get to the Super Bowl, and then you hope you can make it work out in the Super Bowl. But the, the margins, Shireen, are so thin by the time you get to the postseason. And, you know, the Bucks had a chance to beat the Rams. If they had beaten the Rams, they very well may have won the Super Bowl. So Brady knows from experience that all, all, all you can do is get in a position to, to knock hard on the door. And that's what they're trying to do, is to be able to knock on the door and maybe kick it in and get him number eight before he moves on to whatever he's going to do in 2023. Yeah, you know, as many Super Bowls as Tom Brady has won, he knows as well as anyone that some health luck goes into this. And they had so many injuries last season in that secondary, Mike, and you saw what happened against the Rams. Now, we could say at the end of the game, maybe they made some mistakes there. Maybe the defense wasn't exactly right. All of that on that play. But perhaps if they had had their full complement of secondary players there against the Rams, they stopped Cooper Cup on that last play. And, and maybe they even win the game before that. Maybe they're better in the secondary um, th than what they were in that game. So you have to have some health luck, too. It's not just having the great quarterback. And it's not just having a, a really good roster with all 22 starters back that's going to get you over the hump. There's other things that play into it because, as you said, Mike, the margin is so thin there. And when, two years ago, when the Bucks started out, you think about those Saints games that they lost. They didn't look like a Super Bowl contender at that part at that point in the season, but it all came together in the postseason. They put it all together. They had some health luck, and they won the Super Bowl. And that's what's going to take again this year. But when I look at this roster, this roster to me looks as good or better as it did two years ago. I mean, I think the guard position, they've upgraded with the trade for Shaq Mason. Receivers, they have so many receivers. They've improved the secondary, and, and now – if they have injuries in the secondary, maybe they don't have to go out and sign Richard Sher Sherman, who's over the hill, who just kind of gets you by. They have some guys there who can actually play. So I love this roster. He's going to have a chance. The margins are thin. It's better they're in the NSC because, as you said, Mike, it looks on paper. It's the Rams and the Bucks. But I really like this team, and, and, I, and I like their chances of being the NFC representative in the Super Bowl. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.